Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I just thought I'd do a duck face tutorial just because I've been asked like a lot to do these and honestly I just can't do it on TikTok like there's zero way. I don't have enough like time on that and it's hard to explain and show you and all of that. So I'm really hoping with this camera I can set it up so you can see what I'm doing because it is so hard to explain. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video and if you do please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and yeah. Let's get into the video. <laughs> so all you need for this hairstyle is two elastic bands. I'm just gonna do two on either side. If you do one, you only need one. That's kind of self-explanatory. And I'm just gonna use a comb. This is honestly just to part my hair. My hair is kind of in the middle parting already, but I'll just part it for the sake of this video. So I'm just gonna go for a normal middle part. My hair is pretty much already in it, but sometimes there's just a few hairs that are over. And then once you've done that, you just wanna throw like all your hair to the back and do the parting all the way down so just find it in the middle and then go down your head if it helps you can have someone do it for you or you can do it with a mirror behind your head that can really help but I'm going to focus more on like telling you how to braid like I feel like parting isn't something to focus on because I'm just going to part it however and go with the braid. Once you've parted your hair, I just tie up one side so that I can't pull any of the hair over. So I'm just gonna tie this side up and then it just means this hair is all free and then I can braid it all and I can't accidentally start braiding in the wrong side. <laughs> so I've just zoomed in so you can actually see what I'm doing. So the first thing you wanna do is just take a chunk at the beginning. It doesn't matter how big this chunk is, but I would tell you that if you want it as a looser plait take a bit more of a chunk if you want it as a really tight one you want to make your section smaller so I think this section is like perfect for the braid that we're going to do today which is just kind of like a normal one um, and then the first thing you're going to do is pass it into three so you can literally just get your two fingers and just kind of put it through it's in three it doesn't need to be exact or anything like that and then this piece of hair is going to come down and then you're going to pull it in your hands and it's going to go to the middle because this one's going to fall. So the one originally at the front is just going to come straight down. The one at the back has gone to the middle and the middle has gone to the top. Then you're going to get the hair that you've just dropped. But well, you don't need to drop it at all. It's up to you. And you're just going to grab some more hair in with it. Then you're going to pass the middle strand to the front and the front strand to the middle. And then you're going to literally do what you just did in reverse. So grab some hair with the back strand, so there's hair added into it, and then pass the middle strand to the back and the back to the middle. It's a lot easier than it sounds and looks, but I promise you, you will get it. So again, this front strand is now here. You're just gonna grab some hair into it, then pass the middle strand, or the back strand to the middle, sorry, and then add some more hair to what was the middle strand but is now the back strand like that The further down you get, the thicker the hair strands that you move in will be because you need to use up all that hair before you get to the bottom of the head. Otherwise, you're going to have bits dangling down around your neck. So now I'm just going to take all the hair that's there in these next two. So there you go, I've collected all the hair now. And then make sure it's all up like that. And then you're just going to braid it down like a normal three braid it plait if you don't know how to do this I'll explain so you're just going to have the hair here so you've got three you're going to pass this left strand into the middle and then just keep passing the strands on the outside back into the middle and you just keep going it's one of them things that does take practice and with practice it will become so much easier and so much quicker and you'll end up braiding your hair so quickly and then you just braid it all the way to the bottom grab your elastic band I literally use loom bands because I have so many from when I was little I just tie it around the bottom like this and there you go you have your duck braid 
one thing to remember is you're always going to have one side of your head easier to braid than the other so i personally like to braid this side of my head this side whilst i find it harder sometimes tends to go better so you're just gonna have to find what works for you honestly so now i'm gonna braid this side of my head so i'm just gonna grab another small section of hair and split it into three sometimes it takes more than one attempt and then you're gonna grab the left strand and you're just gonna hold it then with these you're gonna have two so i hope you can see this but there's two there so there's one two and then there's three with the side that's the like this section that's furthest right you're going to put it into the middle so you're literally just going to twist your hands like just flip them like that then with this hand you're going to grab it with another finger so you have that divide it's still there and then the strands will go like that and then you're going to gather another bit of hair and with the strand that's loose down you're just going to grab it and then this, this bit you're going to twist again it's all about just twisting your hands twist your hands inwards like towards your face grab the strand nearest to you which is now the middle and then leave this front bit we're going to grab some more hair from the front and add into it and then again you're just going to twist the hair take it out and then you've got the thinnest strand because you've added no hair to this one so then you add hair then this one's going to twist you take the back strand which becomes the middle you leave the front and then you add some hair in Then once you reach the end of the plait, you're just going to grab another clear elastic and then tie it up. And there you go. That is literally how you Dutch braid. I really hope I made that easier for you. It's really hard for me to know I was plaiting, okay, because I honestly had nothing to look at and just completely winged this. But I really hope this helped and I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see any more, please comment it down below. Um, and yeah, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.